This is chapter 35, section six. Uh, in your textbook, it has two pieces of reading. The first is FDR, the fourth termite of 1944 that you see on the slide right now. Uh, and the second we'll see here in just a moment is titled Roosevelt Defeats Dewey. In terms of the history of the Americas curriculum, this has little bearing on it because it is such an American focused section on the election of 1944. However, I have chosen to include it because it does advance the story of um, America in World War II and specifically introduces us to Harry Truman, who is going to play a vital part in the conclusion of the war. So looking at this first slide here, uh, as the Republicans meet in Chicago, they have now gone multiple terms uh, since FDR has been serving since 1932 without a victory. And so their victory starved, as your textbook terms it. Uh, and so they not nominate Thomas Dewey for president and uh, who is um, basically says he's going to do the same thing that FDR is doing in World War II, except for better. Uh, and Dewey's vice presidential nominee is an isolationist, uh, John Bricker. Uh, from Ohio as the vice presidential candidate. For the Democrats, uh, there's no one really to turn to besides FDR, and so he's viewed as their indispensable man uh, for the Democrats, and so they nominate him for his third term uh, on the first ballot. Uh, and while it is his fourth term, which has never been done in U.S. history, the fourth term is actually less of a deal than the third term. The third term was um, broaching the two terms that every president before FDR had run for. And so the fourth term is basically just a continuation of that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the vice president is changed uh, to Harry Truman, um, who is from the state of Missouri and from Independence, Missouri. Um, and we will maybe at some point during your high school career take a field trip to the Truman Library because there are some direct HOA uh, things that they do at the Truman Library uh, that are really good kind of IB experience. And so you can see FDR pictured there in the top right and Truman there pictured in the bottom right. The second slide, as I mentioned, uh, was titled Roosevelt Defeats Dewey. Very straightforward uh, section here. Um, those few points you see there um, summarize it quite well. Roosevelt wins in his fourth term as president over Dewey and an electoral college vote count that wasn't close, 432 to 99. The popular vote count was closer uh, with FDR accruing just over 3 million more votes. Um, and ultimately what it came down to is World War II was going well. And so the public was more apt to support FDR because of it. Your textbook makes the analogy of um, a baseball manager pulling a pitcher when they're doing well. Typically you don't do it. And so there was no reason to pull FDR because the uh, American involvement in World War II in 1944 was going well. That concludes the brief chapter 35, section six notes.